We are the Medical Laboratory Technology Program. That is MLT. And I always kind of stress that because a lot of people have a tendency when you say MLT around here, they think Meridian Little Theater. No. Anyway, on our campus, MLT means Medical Lab Tech. So, um, the basics about our program, first of all, there actually are no prerequisites, which is interesting in a lot of respects because all your other health ed programs at least require a and 1 to get in with the lab. We don't require that. And the reason that we don't is because basically you can get everything that you need, whether it's general education courses, whether it's our courses, you could actually get those within your two years. You can go ahead and get some of our gen ed classes out of the way while you're in high school. That also makes you more competitive for entrance into the program because we only take 15 students every August. And of those 15 students, we want the highest GPAs, we want the individuals who have the highest ACT scores. So that's the things that we're gonna be looking at. And if you already have some college level classes, even at, while you've taken them in high school, that's gonna make you more competitive because it puts you a little bit higher up in your ranking. So you could have a high school diploma, you could come to MCC, you can get into our program, and if you live here local, you got tuition guarantee, get that first two years paid for, and now you've got a great, wonderful opportunity to go get a job because I cannot even tell you how many job openings there are right now for lab people. It is absolutely ridiculous how many openings there are. I started off going to Belleville State Community College in Carrollton, Alabama, and I went through that program, a uh, phlebotomy program, and I just stopped. So I was like, well, let me, you know, I'm getting older, let me go ahead and go back to school. So I did that and I came here because it's actually closer. My dad's a lab tech and he's done that forever and I always thought it was really interesting, so I decided why not take a shot at it. I knew it was the only thing that I would be able to have a career in where I would be able to do sciencey stuff. And uh, I wanted to be in the medical field, but I'm not a people person. So it's a great way to be behind the scenes and still be able to help people if you're an introvert like me. I took a course, a phlebotomy course, at MCC workforce down the road and I liked it and then Ms. Johnson came to talk to us about the MLT program that's offered here and I was like well I might just go in there and do that <laughs> to make more money. <laughs> Within the last two two and a half years the salaries have increased drastically for your lab techs. It used to be that we couldn't really say that. We were kind of not happy about it, but now we're very happy because um, there's such a shortage, which it's not great, but it pushes up that demand. And with that demand comes an, a need for an increase in pay, an increase in benefits. You are certified in any state as long as you pass national boards. You'll be ready to pass them when you walk out of here because we have 100% pass rate for the last five, six, seven years. So you'll be ready, I promise. Favorite parts? Well, there's sticking your classmates. Uh, that was nice. Um, uh, doing uh, blood types, I love to do blood types. It, it was amazing. And uh, I didn't think that they would actually still do that in, in the laboratory setting, but you do all the time. So it, it, that was really cool, being able to type yourself and your friends. So we would come early and do that a lot without them knowing. <laughs> well, you get to do a lot of manual tests. Um, you get to practice on set rates. You get to practice on a lot of the um, tests that you can do from home, um, pregnancy tests, uh, lots of urine tests that you can do from home. You get to look under the microscope, see all different types of cells. You get to do a lot of hands-on. Probably the most memorable was the first time we had to draw blood for a phlebotomy. I was extremely nervous, hand shook a lot, but it was pretty neat because everybody's had blood drawn at least once, I'm sure, and it was really neat to be on the other end of that instead of the receiving end. Going back over phlebotomy, because I finished the course back in June and I graduated, so then when I came in the fall, we did it over, so it was like a little refresh. 
even though I work at a facility, you know, it was just fun to do on um, my classmates. In our first year, the first semester, we're going to start out with a class. It's, it's not a difficult class compared to some of our classes, um, but it's called your analysis. And one of the things you get to, to learn about in that class is the diseases that relate to urine. Well, to know those diseases, you have to know what's in the urine. It's not just liquid. So, um, we do work with patient samples. We get them from our local hospitals, but we use all the same safety precautions that you would use when you get a job. We've got tests we can do, uh, urinalysis tests, and things like that, and it's just pretty neat to see all the stuff that really goes into uh, what seems to be a simple test. There's a lot of stuff in the background that goes on to make it work and come out correctly. Our second semester, which was it would be our spring semester, so like right now, our um, first year students are actually doing um, blood smears. So we take blood and we actually spread it on a slide, then we can stain it, and then we can take our brand new microscopes and we can look at it. And in doing that, when you we learn about it here and then you put it into practice in your clinicals, and you could potentially be the one that helps a doctor diagnose a disease that he was not expecting a patient to have from a blood smear. Blood smear slides, that was really cool. We just did that recently. I like how the technique that Ms. Johnson told us how to do it, it was really cool. Even though we have machines that do it now, but she just wanted us to know the manual way look through and see if they have any cells that they shouldn't have, make notes so a doctor can see it. And sometimes I've even caught leukemia before on a patient and uh, referred it to pathology. So th that was cool knowing that I had a hand in that. Like I was the first person that, that found out that that person had something wrong with them. Our second year students, um, a little bit more in depth that fall semester because you're really getting ready to go out to clinicals so you do a lot more labs um, we do a lot of counting of cells with our microscopes um, we have a class called um, immunohematology which is blood bank um, basically it's the department is blood bank and you'll learn how to type people's blood so you can tell someone if they're type O positive, type AB negative, things like that. Then we also have some new instrumentation that we will be implementing starting next fall with our chemistry. So we're gonna be um, able to do some different types of lipid testing, so fats, so cholesterols and triglycerides and things like that, um, that we haven't been able to do in the past, so we're looking forward to that. And then my heart, last but not least, is microbiology. We do a lot of labs in micro, and the reason that we do it is because it's a hands-on. If you are really interested in science and you're really interested in hands-on, micro is where you want to be. Um, so we do a lot of growing of bacteria. We identify the bacteria. We test that bacteria to see what type it is. Um, we use different types of media, which is what we grow it on, and we can tell so much from that but all of those labs are putting into practice what we are teaching. So it's reinforcing the theory that we're teaching in the classroom so that when you get to your clinicals, it's familiar. I, sh I have to travel a good bit. So um, I have my children that I help them with and then I have my studying that I have to do for myself. And throughout that whole entire process, they really help them. They go through a lot in class or you don't have to really be questioned about like, I wonder is this right or I wonder if that's right. And you can always call them, they are always there. They're really cool. <laughs> I love them. I can email them, call them anytime. If I have a question about anything, they're all ready to answer anything. Ms. Johnson and Ms. Holyfield are two of the greatest teachers I've ever had. I've had plenty of them and I can promise that they are some of the best that I've ever had in the state of Mississippi. From day one in clinicals, I knew what I was doing. It was like I had done it for years. Uh, I was amazed, truly amazed. And I got hired while I was a student 
They were holding a position for me while I was a student at Clinicals at Anderson. And as soon as I started the job, I knew exactly what to do. And I was fully prepared in every single way for boards, for that job. I mean, I was astonished at just how pinpoint accurate like this class is to get you prepared for it. Our students are our hearts in that sense because it, we do, we become a family. Every two years we, we send out a new group of our family and it's a little heartbreaking and we cry at graduation and, and um, we do keep in contact though as much as we can because we want to know your successes. We want to know how being what you've chosen to be has made you better, has helped your family, has I mean, and, and we'll have them call back and, or talk to us and we'll see them in the clinical say, and they'll tell us about their kids and I'm like, they're that old already, you know, because we, we knew them when they were little because they talked about them in class. So we do become a big family. So it, it's hard every two years to send them out, but they gotta grow up sometime. So.